Today on Upfront, what can Republicans and Democrats work together on in the coming year? Or are there rough roads ahead? Next, Senate Minority Leader Jennifer Schilling on the need for a statewide transportation solution and growing calls to just fix it. Plus, a new Republican plan to curb the growth of state spending. And Milwaukee County Circuit Court Judge Joe Donald on his bid for the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Covering the issues important to Wisconsin. This is Up Front with Mike Boucher. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Up Front. The holidays are almost here. Time to wrap up the year and put a bow on it. 2015 saw some big changes in state government, among them the bills Governor Walker signed in private last week, eliminating the Government Accountability Board and rewriting campaign finance law. The legislature will be back in session in just a few weeks. So what's on tap for the spring session, and is there anything Democrats and Republicans can work together on? We're asking Senate Minority Leader Jennifer Schilling, who's at our Madison affiliate, WKOW-TV. Senator, good to have you back on the program, and let's begin with that question. Is there anything that you and Republican lawmakers can work on in the, in the coming session? Well, I've been uh, uh, the minority leader now the, uh, a year uh, this month, and from the get-go, the early conversations that I had where I thought there were areas that we could find some common agreement would be on transportation infrastructure, that we need to figure out a long-term sustainable uh, financing mechanism in our state for our roads and our bridges and, and uh, infrastructure across the state. And so I still hold out that hope uh, that really outside of the tick-tock of, of a budget and that time frame, we need to be looking at something that will be ready to go during the next budget uh, process. And so um, I think it's important that I, I really want to keep an open mind and find where we can find some common ground on transportation financing. Uh, there's uh, groups that are starting campaigns, uh, if it's the Transportation Development Authority or Wisconsin Counties Association. There are many groups that are um, really trying to buckle down, work with legislators, educate them about the needs, and look for that common ground as we head into the next legislative session. So um, I really hope infrastructure uh, continues to be one of those areas that we can find uh, that Democrats and Republicans can come to the, together. Do you have any idea at this point of what uh, an infrastructure plan would look like? What, what from your perspective, would it, would it include? Well, there are a lot of ideas that are out there. There are commissions that have uh, put that challenge forward, and they have um, answers that are out there and ideas. Um, and I think, I mean, the idea of the, one of the statewide campaigns is just fix it. We know what needs to be done. We have solutions that are out there and ideas. Uh, we've got legislation that, that, that people have introduced if they want to revisit uh, indexing or other aspects. Uh, our colleagues in, in Iowa were, were able to move forward in a bipartisan fashion for infrastructure needs in that state. And so um, I think that, it, that when we've done a lot of talking about it, we need some action on it. Hey, give me some sense of, of uh, what this election year looks like to you from the, from the perspective of leadership in the state Senate. What do you think is, is reasonable to expect come November? Well, I am excited. Uh, the Senate Democrats, we are ending the year with building momentum towards 2016. And as we look ahead uh, to 2016, we have a short window to do some legislative work that we're in in January and scheduled to adjourn in April. But in that short time frame, Senate Democrats want to be talking about the Badger Blueprint, which is our positive, forward-looking agenda that we have put forward this fall uh, to talk about issues that Hardworking Wisconsinites grapple with, with the minute they wake up in the morning till when they put their kids to bed and find a few minutes to think about sort of the issues at hand. And so we want to look at growth, opportunity, and innovation on uh, public policy from education to retirement to uh, uh, tax credits for child care for working families that have that expense of, of child care uh, tuition that is due every year. Um, and looking at return of investments, and we, we really need to look at many of the tax credits programs in our state to see if they are working. And we have seen that uh, WIDIC has continued to be uh, a, a failed experiment over the last several years. We've had stinging audits that have come out. And so we were going to be talking about uh, what we can be doing to improve transparency and accountability, uh, specifically within that agency. Uh, but, but we think that there's certainly more that can be done. Uh, the agenda that the Republicans have put forward, that our colleagues have worked on this year, certainly is not working. We have seen the latest poll saying that the legislature is at a 31% approval rating. 
you know, I, I think that's terribly misguided as far as the policies that Wisconsinites, our friends, our neighbors, and communities want us working on. And it's just those meat and potato issues of back to basics about education and health care and transportation and economic development. And, and that's what we should be focused on. Senator, you mentioned uh, WEDEC, the, the Economic Development Corporation. There, there are some in your party who, who say it should be scrapped. Uh, should it be scrapped, in your opinion? Uh, both Senator Lassa and Representative Peter Barca, who are our appointees onto the board, serve on the WEDIC board, have been critical for years about the operations and uh, the, the process of, of WEDIC. It's how it was rolled out uh, and what has happened. And so I certainly am supportive of their efforts to look at scrapping WEDIC, looking to see we need to have a two pronged approach, looking at a, 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 an agency that looks at economic development. But then the second prong is looking at um, marketing and the promotion of the state of Wisconsin. And back to my earlier question, do you feel that the, the Senate Democrats have any chance of winning back control, becoming the majority in the Senate again in November? Well, I'm certainly excited about our opportunities. Uh, we have uh, candidates who have announced who are out there working. We are targeting uh, specifically a seat that is now an open seat, but that doesn't change our priority over in the Fond du Lac, Oshkosh area in uh, the 18th Senate District. Uh, we have candidates in northern Wisconsin that have recently announced. And so winning begats winning. In order, I feel that the Senate Democrats have some street credibility with folks. Uh, we need to demonstrate that we have candidates that are positive, forward-looking, that are really listening to their constituents uh, and working on the issues that they want us to, to work on and be problem solvers. And so uh, as we look ahead, um, the, the maps are, those, those seats are certainly the ones that we are targeting and looking to for in kind of this new age now of, of changes to the campaign finance laws and things that we have to recalibrate. And unfortunately, um, I am predicting that uh, the fall will be pretty negative uh, as far as uh, that money coming in and the messages and more money will be coming in, secret money that will not really be disclosed uh, and open so that people know who is paying for those ads and that coordination that's happening with, um, with candidates and committees. And that's unfortunate for democracy. I think everybody throws up their hands. They're frustrated about that tone and tenor that happens uh, in the fall of election years. And we can look at the Wisconsin GOP for that. Senate Minority Leader uh, Jennifer Schilling is the Democrat from La Crosse. We appreciate your time. Thanks very much for being with us today. Thank you very much. Later on up front, the Republican plan to check the growth of state spending. But first, one of the state's big races in 2016, the race for Supreme Court. I'll be asking Milwaukee County Circuit Court Judge Joe Donald what he'd bring to the bench. That's when Up Front continues. Up Front with Mike Goucher, brought to you by the American Transmission Company and the Wisconsin Corn Growers Association.